The Rainbow Perk Challenge, a zombies challenge as old as time itself, and today we get to attempt it because in our last video, our top comment was from Fire Dracon. Dracon, these by the way, again, saying that they want us to do the Aug on Forsaken while doing the Rainbow Perk Challenge. So that's what we'll be doing today. And they also said we can upgrade whatever we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade our attack rifles all the way up to tier five to help us out here. But before we hop into it, if you wanna leave me a weapon challenge or upgrade suggestions, go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first that way we don't get any repeats so the unfortunate thing about doing a rainbow perk challenge here on cold war is that quick revive is a little bit tricky because with an upgrade to it or just like base quick revive i honestly don't remember but Either way, whenever you get Quick Revive, it moves its way over to their first perk. That way you can still use it if you go down and, you know, get yourself back up. So we have to start with Quick Revive today. And you know, the, the easy way to remember the, the colors in the rainbow is Roy G Biv. But uh, today we're going Biv G Roy or, or Biv Roy G or, you know, w whatever one makes the most sense. I, I'm a little dyslexic, so, you know, cut me a little bit of slack. But I'm glad they picked Forsaken because that means you get to go to each individual perk machine instead of having just to go to the Wonder Fist and getting it all in one little swoop. But before we get to get any of our perks, I'm going to go ahead and start racking up some points here. Uh, we'll probably stay in this first room until we have at least 15,000 or get to round 15 or round 20 or something, whatever comes first. Uh, maybe we'll go down first. Maybe that's what happened first. Jeez, dude. Some things never change. I can play this game for probably a decade and I'll still go down on like round five for nothing just by being an idiot. Let's uh, hope we don't go down again and have to restart before we even get started here. But good thing we get quick revive first because we're going to need it. All right, let's get this double points going. Let's uh, Tesla storm a little bit, rack up some easy points and keep on keeping on. Actually, there's a decoy on the ground here. Why don't I throw a decoy, pick that one up and get some easy kills. And we're racking up some of our jackrabbit camos. Kind of surprising with the way that this game has started. But we're approaching a pretty decent way here into October and we still haven't gotten our Halloween event. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned that maybe we won't get it. But if I remember correctly, last year, we kind of got it towards the middle of October. Maybe we got a little bit earlier, but we did end up having it uh, get taken away from us uh, even before Halloween hit because of Modern Warfare 2's campaign early access coming out. And right now we got the Modern Warfare 3 beta happening for uh, this weekend and the next. So I'm assuming maybe after the betas are over, they'll go ahead and launch our uh, Halloween event if they do. Also, just got the rod and camo. We're all done with our normal kills. But I'm starting to get a little bit worried that they won't add it in. And that would really suck if we saw the last of it last year. Because it is always like the most fun time of the year in Cold War when they add in those jack-o'-lantern drops you know, hopping in and just getting pack a punch right away, getting those aether tools, getting the ray gun a bunch of times. It's always just a fun time. And I feel like if they don't add it in, maybe just put it into a mode, have it as a little side mode that anybody can hop into if they want, because it would really suck if we don't see this mode again, because it's almost become our, our yearly tradition to attempt to do the first room challenge on every map once the, the pumpkins come out, because it just makes it stupidly easy. And now that we've got a, a little bit of practice of those first room challenges, under our belts without the pumpkins i feel like we can get pretty far and we got a, we got a few strategies down and now if we can just get some pack a punch we might be able to get to some high rounds doing it but please treyarch if you're out there give us the mode back we need it the streets need it all right let's go ahead and start up our portal we got like close to 30k that should be good enough but maybe we tesla storm on him one more time get a little extra points Oh, and there's our conviction camo, all done with our jackrabbits. Oh, and double points at the end of our Tesla storm. Beautiful. All right, I guess we'll stay here until our double points is over with. Might as well use it while we got it. All right, now let's get out of here. So our first perk machine that we're going to run into, besides death perception and spawn, is going to be jug, but we don't need that right now. We got to hold off on buying it. But now we got tombstone up here. We have uh, stamina up over there in the pizza room. But right here is what we need, a little quick revive. I'll be taking that and the loose change for it. It's actually so sick, the amount of loose change you get on this map. We're already at like 300 points out of the loose change just in the early section of this map. And we have every single perk machine to get it from on top of getting it from all the arcade machines. Now, 100 points isn't anything crazy, but it really adds up once you get it from like 10 something machines, maybe even more. It's almost enough to give you like a free perk or at least reimburses you for a perk that you've already bought. But since Quick Revive has to be our first perk, what comes after that? So if it's Roy G Biv, blue being the B in Biv, eyes indigo, which is 
the only indigo I know is the indigo plateau. And then violet would like elemental pop count as violet. And then we go into PhD. I think I have a cheat sheet somewhere. Let me look. I think the hardest part about this challenge is me trying to place the order of the perks because it's not even difficult getting to them. It's just difficult me ordering it around in my head. So we're gonna go elemental then PhD next. And then we'll loop around to our reds. I think that makes the most sense. Well, let me grab our loose change from over here before we move on. Give me that. And preemptive shut up peck. <laughs> yeah, you little bitch. And let's grab all of our loose change from in here. That's one. That's two. That's three. But we also need our parts. Oh, another loose change. I mind if I do. We taking this TV. I will grab this loose change as well. And right in here, we got elemental pop. So quick loose change from that. And I'll grab it. Beautiful. So next on our list is PhD. And we'll be taking this flashlight. And we'll open up this door. I barely ever open this door. I'm like, this is the least used area for me on forsaken but we need our speed coal loose change and just have that door open up to grab it later now we gotta rebuild our teleporter go ahead and start up for me and let's hop on in all right come on out abomination one kiss for each head and already popped his shit zombie i don't got time for you right now why don't you leave me the fuck alone and we'll get that one popped so one more to go go ahead and try me about oh he's trying me immediately didn't even give me a second to finish saying it. Wait, he's gone. Dead. Sleep. And while we're right by this armor thing, let me go ahead and upgrade my shit. And we'll head on through. Get this lockdown lifted. And now we can grab our PhD. So give me that. And now our next perk on our hit list is Jug. At least I'm pretty sure. We'll get Pack-A-Punch 1. Uh, might as well get pack a bunch too while we're here. Now let's work our way back towards Jug. So far, so good. I'm pretty sure this is the right order. Also, all great colors on these perks. And I'm not just saying that because that's my channel colors. Yes, I am. Just the blue, the pinks, the purples. All, it's just a fire combination. All right, now that we ended the round, let's go ahead and grab Jug. All right. I'm going to pause and double check to make sure this is right. So if we're ending with blue, indigo, violet, then we reset back to the R in Roy G. Biv and we need red. So that's Jug. Come here, Jug. Beautiful. Next is going to be Death Perception. Where's the Death Perception machine on this map? Why do I feel like I don't know where that is? Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. It's at spawn. We were just talking about it earlier, too. I swear, there's got to be like centipedes that have better memory than I do. Well, let's head on back into spawn. Now, I don't know if this is an official rule of the Rainbow Perk Challenge, but are you only supposed to like wait around to get the perks? Like, would, would it be cheating to grab them all in the same round? Or do I have to wait until the round has finished to grab them? Because that's kind of how I've been playing it so far far. I don't think I've grabbed any perks within the same round, but round just ended. So perfect time to go ahead and grab death perception. And I think next on our list is uh, stamina. Oh, and we get our first in round abomination. It's time to get fucked up, buddy. Time to get your shit rocked, pal. Let's go up to him and Tesla storm him real quick. Get some damage in. Honestly, this is probably like the least efficient way to take him out since he won't ever show us his uh, beautiful purple mouth while we do it. Oh, wait, there it is. Eat shit, bitch. Oh, there's his other one. Easy. And now he's asleep. Let's go get our stamina up. I'll be taking that. It's looking clean so far. That looks like a rainbow to me. And once we finish this round, we can go ahead and grab speed cola. But before we head on over there, do we have enough for a self revive? Yeah, we might as well grab that now. Otherwise, I will forget about it and we'll end up going down in uh, perishing. Now we'll be taking some speed cola. And next is meal kick, so we might as well just stay in this area. Really sucks having to wait to get dead shot. We're missing out on so many crits here with my awful aim. But that's the round. Go ahead and give me meal kick, please. Now, what are we missing? Just tombstone and dead shot? Is there anything else? And which one do I get first? Because like tombstone's more like gray and white and dead shots like black with yellow. Which one gets priority here? I think I, I might go dead shot, not only because that's the perk I want more, but I feel like it's just a little more vibrant. You know, I feel like that should come before gray. Oh, almost just went down right there. But I might go stop by the Wonder Fizz just to look and see and make sure that I'm not missing any perks. I don't think I am, but it wouldn't be the first time that I, I forgot about something. Let's go take a peek. And I gotta really try to remember not to buy anything. It's gonna be hard to open this up and not immediately just buy everything up. Okay, yeah, it is just Deadshot in Tombstone. Okay, we'll end this round and let's go pick up Deadshot. What's up, Deadshot? Come here. And we're almost done now. Honestly, this is a really satisfying way to get all the perks. 
It, it just looks clean. It looks smooth. It makes sense. And now we can just rely on our basically auto aim. Because this shit is nasty. All right now, where's Tombstone's machine? I'm about to have like a Jimmy Neutron brain blast. Oh, we it, it's over in the first area. Got it. Well, technically the second area, but like the first area outside of spawn. Y'all know what I mean. What's up, Tombstone? I'll be taking that. And now our rainbow perk challenge is completed. We got every single perk. And now we just need to go find a spot to grind. I've used the spot over here in Jim's Donuts before, but I feel like I always get like overran after a certain point. So I don't know if that's my best bet. I honestly still don't really have like a set grinding spot on this map. As much as I like Forsaken, there's not really an area I can go and sit and get shit done. Not since they took away my truck spot. So maybe I just train around and uh, spawn and I just pop my ring of fire when I got it right by uh, where death perception is. I think that might be the play. And now that we got our ring of fire, let's go ahead and use it. Fuck these guys up a little bit and let's Let's hope this abomination don't try to laser us. Easy. Already dead. Don't even gotta worry about it. it ain't no thing. And our ring of fire is over, but I feel like I can still hang around here for a second. All right, let's get the fuck out. And we just hit our threshold camo. So once we're at uh, 1,596 crits, we'll be all done. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Throw the decoy. Get on it. Leave me alone. I don't think Ring of Fire is really the thing for this. Kind of crazy to even say that. But I don't know if the AUG's got the fire rate to deal with all this. So I think we might actually have to switch back to Tesla Storm, unfortunately. I'm going to do that before I go down and then have to make that decision. But we do got enough scrap to upgrade this to Legendary. So let's do that. Man, that's nice. Getting that super Easter egg done and only having to get a thousand blue scrap to get this thing all the way up. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, Tesla Storm came at the perfect time. Thank God. See, that's what I'm talking about. I would have died right here with Ring of Fire. As much as I love Ring of Fire, I don't think it's the move today. Oh, no. The Mimic actually might have saved me. Semtex, go off. <sighs> Dude, what the fuck is up right now? I'm throwing. I'm really trying to avoid going down. Well, I guess I'm not doing like the greatest job of it. As we're getting some really close calls. But I really want to try to avoid going down so I don't have to buy all the perks back in that order. Let's just go ahead and uh, do this flawless, shall we? Or at least flawless minus our, our first death. Oh, and there's our chemical camo. We're all done with pack-a-punch kills. We're getting pretty close on our crits as well. What? No! Well, so much for not going down. Oh, we got to get everything back. All right, new rule. I get to buy everything back in the same round. So if I remember correctly, we start with Jug, then a little bit of Death Perception, then some Stamina Up, Speed Cola, Mule Kick, then Deadshot, and finally Tombstone, and that's it. I think it should count that I went through probably 10, 15 rounds since I finished buying my perks and then going down, so I, I had all those rounds, you know, in my back pocket, and that made it so I can buy all my perks back in the same round. That makes sense, right? I think so, because I think I'm only like uh, 200 crits away from getting this done and I don't want to completely restart the whole challenge because I will go down again if I don't buy all my perks back. But I didn't get a chance to go and grab my self revive back. Let's try to sneak it in here. Uh, I'm going to throw a decoy down right here. Shoot the plague hound so don't get me while I'm doing this. Buy that and buy my decoys back and pop my Tesla storm and we survived and we're out of here. Sick. I think this Tempest over here is glitched out. It's been sitting right here in this one spot, not doing anything. This has been a weird game of zombies, man. If I get near it, does it do anything? Nope, it's just sitting there. We'll see how long our buddy stays there. Because if this means that we don't get any more Tempest spawning and we just have this one glitched out one that won't do shit, I'm fine with it. Because I'm almost positive it don't count towards the round count, but it do count towards the elite count. So kind of a good RNG with it spawning right here and like sitting in its T-pos. Yeah, all the zombies are dead and it's still here. We just keep the Abomination and the Tempest. Oh, let me reload Abomination. And open your mouth for me, please. Please, bro. All right, motherfucker. Don't listen to me. See if I care. Oh, I do care. I'm about to go down again. Uh, nade at the ground and survive and run. Holy fuck. One health. Shout out Jug. Jug is the shit. I clutched my foot so hard there, now it hurts. I clutched my foot instead of my asshole this time around, and now I'm paying the consequences. I think I'm getting a Charlie horse. This AUG's damage has really, really fallen off steeply here on round 34. That's not even like that crazy high of a round, but this is doing damn near nothing. These elites, 
are basically impossible to take out. It feels like I'm doing that trial only challenge again. This is just insane. But we still have our Tempest buddy over here. Just chilling. Actually, you know what? If I ever needed a, a close-up picture of a Tempest, now's the time. So... There we go. This is what Tempest looks like up close. Actually, very beautiful design. I'm not gonna lie. Cool looking enemy. This is even having like a hard time killing normal zombies. I mean, now some of them got the disciple power up, but this is taking like three to five bursts per zombie. Even when all the bursts are hitting in the head. This gun sucks. Some of the attack rifles are like the best weapons in the game, like the Carve 2 and like the M16. The AUG is ass cheeks. Why don't all these zombies just learn from this Tempest here and not do anything? If you don't attack me, I won't attack you. We could all live in peace and harmony. The world could be so much better. All right, we should be able to get Gold Viper right here in this round. We're already at 1,500. We got to just be a few kills away here. So I'm just going to extinguish or whatever. There's got to be a word in there for using all my decoys. Relinquish, maybe? That might work somewhere in that sentence. I'm going to be tossing these decoys until this camo pops up. It should be right about here. Go ahead, game. Don't be shy. Oh, fuck. And what I was saying was it should be right about here. Go ahead. Show me the camo game. Go for it. All right. Playing hard to get, I see. Am I misremembering? Was it not 500 something? Is it 600? There's only one way to find out. Wow, really? What are we at? Okay. Well, we got 20 kills to figure it out. Hopefully. Isn't that right, Mr. Tempest? Let's tell the storm for it. Go ahead. Give me the camo, please. Camo right now, please. There it is. There's our golden viper. We finally got it. And I was going to try to exfil here, but our camo decided to be stubborn and wait a few extra rounds. So I'm just going to let these zombies take me out and we'll go out right by our best friend here. He's seen us go through the whole grind. He'll see the end of it. Goodbye, Mr. Tempest. And let me tombstone shadow real quick and we'll go right back to you. I'll see you around, Tempest. There we go. And our final stats for this game, 2,183 eliminations, 1,596 crits, zero revives, and four downs. Two of those intentional, believe it or not. And let's make sure we didn't get scammed and they gave us our camo. Yep, looks like we got it. And we still need two more attack rifles to get Plague Diamond on this. I thought we had more than that done. I guess it was just the M16. And just in case you're curious as to what the AUG looks like with Golden Viper. Honestly, not a bad looking weapon. Most of the time, Gold Viper looks like shit on some of these guns. <coughs> Damn, that sneeze snuck up on me. This one don't look that bad, but its performance uh, is a little lacking. But I'm gonna go ahead and edit here. Make sure if you guys do leave a suggestion, you go and check that comment because I did get a few weapons done while working on this weapon XP video. So make sure you double check there. But thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.